57-year-old Kevin Francis Ramey, who commonly goes by the name Birdman. And uh, that's my primary citizenship is, is, of course, in heaven. So, you know, I was kind of wondering, is, are you guys going to deport me to heaven? <laughs> I hope not. He was ordered held on $1,000 bail and will need a third-party custodian to be released. Ramey heads up a group known as Sui Juris Court Angels, the members of which adhere to tenets of sovereign citizenry. In a rambling five-page rebuttal to the case, Ramey attempts to claim the government's lack of authority to charge him with crimes. In Dillingham, I'm Dave Benninger. <laughs> I'm William Wagner here on our second such, and behind us is a scene from what? This is our fishing boats in Togiak, Alaska. This is where Birdman, otherwise baptized as what? Kevin? Kevin Francis Remy. Kevin Francis Remy, also known as Birdman, has a fishing boat. And I think it's this one down right here. Yeah, that one. You got it. But that's not, you're not here to talk about fishing in Alaska, are you? No, no. This is, uh, I, I launched a document, Adam. A lot of documents. Yeah. Well, this is to Governor Bill Walker. Yeah. See, what they did was... These documents, I like the way you hand-wrote most of this complaint, handwritten. And they have to, by law, accept it, people. I, I know sometimes you go and the clerk will say, well, that's not the right form, you got to do this and that. No, if you've got the essential correct information, even handwritten, the clerk must. And the U.S. SCOTUS, that's the U.S. Supreme Court, the United States Supreme Court, has ruled. They have to take it. Now we get to the Michael Jackson stuff, because all of this has got you to want to create something called Court Angels? Yeah, it's, I found it in 2005. I knew I wasn't getting any, anywhere uh, with them all on me, and I knew I needed an organization above me. So I created uh, Sui Juris Court Angels Foundation. And with that foundation, I'm working to provide absolutely free total court services to the layman at law, whether rich or poor, uh, absolutely free. We don't ask what's in your wallet, and therefore... And you, how, how are you hoping to fund this? That's equal protection. Yeah, equal protection, which we don't have right yeah. now. Getting out of the Michael Jackson art. So you, you want to create court angels. Yes. And you think you're going to be able to make a deal that'll bring in a couple hundred million dollars some deal with, explain this, how Michael Jackson's art that has not been seen largely by the world, how is this going to generate money for court angels? Well, it's got to not only generate money for court angels, but Mike, Michael's original plan was to be able to, to create a revenue stream to, you know, off the art, you know, various uh, projects with it to, to feed hungry children around the world. So, but at the same time, uh, there should be plenty to go around and uh, interweave it in with the court angels and then some of the proceeds can go, then go in to pay for attorneys or... Uh, now this was always set up in a partnership deal with Mr. Strong, correct? Yes, yes. So the estate attorneys cannot get their sticky fingers on this, can That's they? That's exactly right. Woo! Go, Jackson team! He, 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 was, he was thinking when he... He was thinking. thinking. Put that together, yes. Michael was thinking. And I bet you if they put a book of Michael's art out there, it would fly <coughs> off the shelves at $100 a crack. Yes, I think so. And he's he's actually got one ready to go. So Michael Jackson yeah. got a book. As a matter book. of fact, if you're uh, looking at the screen yeah. now, this was uh, young artistic Michael. Because uh, yeah. he, was, he was actually artistic... Uh, you're getting a, a, a once-in-a-lifetime people preview of what has not been made public. This You're not going to see this on NBC or Fox News or mm -hmm. CNN. Yeah, he was really talented, in, in not only in just singing and, and uh, giving. He was really artistic. He was a, a, a genius and a saint. We had a genius saint. Here's another photo. What are we seeing there? That's uh, Michael when he's just kind of leisure, and I believe he's you know reading some lyrics there. Yeah, what's the next picture of, do you know? Uh, off the top of my head until I see it. Oh, you, you got to stand right next to his Maserati, right? Yes, yes. Sir. He ordered a Maserati and by the time it came, uh, he was he uh, was gone. Lamborghini. Oh, I'm sorry, Lamborghini. Yeah, 
And then, yeah, uh, it they was... They go for, what, a quarter million or something? Uh, 300000 300000 for it. It goes artwork, too, here. Yeah, here it shows him a uh, painting, or, I mean, sketch in Peter Pan. Wow. And so that's what... There's a lot of pictures of him, you know, when he's just doodling along. Wow. Uh, sketching these things. So that was uh, a good one called The Dance, uh, which is his uh, signature, you know, where he comes up on his toes. Yeah. And I, I really like that that picture. Uh, we'll see what one comes up here, though. Uh, this is uh, Sir Brent Livingstone Strong and Michael right there in there. Yeah, in the lower left corner, and, I see him. Uh, see, back in the bicentennial uh, era, Warren Berger commissioned him to, to sketch the presidents. So there's a number of them that he's sketching. And that one that's right down there is, I believe, the... Uh, Declaration of Independence that we were looking at. Amazing. And, 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 and the world doesn't know Michael's done all this. Yeah. This is like brand new information. Yeah. Do you think Mr. Strong was, was sitting quietly on this stuff because yeah. of the sticky fingers of the estate attorneys? Uh, yeah, well, they were probably trying to figure out how to come at him. See, there's that one again. Beautiful and, work done by Michael Jackson. Yeah. You know, he had a lawsuit against one of his maids here. She had stolen some of his artwork in a jacket, and he won that lawsuit. She sued him for wrongful termination. He sued her. He, he came out the winner, and people don't know. So as we go out, I want to thank you people for being with the Birdman from Alaska here, and I hope he's successful in getting court angels up and running. And thank you, Birdman. Thank and you. Thank you, David Gary Gladden, for Skyping in from Alaska.